Steve, how do you feel the club has progressed this season? Very well, actually. We've moved from strength to strength in both football and development. What have been your main successes this season? Well, at the beginning of the season, the under 10 girls won a cup in autumn, and the end of the season, we had the under 17s win their championship. However, they're by far not the only teams within the club to have won either cups or leagues. How many teams and players do you have now? We have around 33 teams within the club, which is represented by about 400 registered players. We also have five girls teams. You must be one of the biggest grassroots football clubs in the area then. I believe we are, and we're also the town's team. How do you start all these players? The Football Fun Programme that runs on a Sunday morning at Embrook Sports and Social Club by Dave Williams and his team of volunteer coaches. What's the format? This is the player pathway where we teach young players between four and seven years old how to play football and at the same time have fun for an hour. That then leads on to playing football for an under 17 in the league the following September when they reach year one. Is it proving to be successful? This year has been particularly successful with over 1,300 boys and girls coming to 27 sessions over the period. That means about 50 players per week. That will hopefully lead us on to three or four under sevens teams at the start of the league in September. How do you manage to develop players at all ages? We have a football development team at the club who ensure that both coaches and players get the training that they need. Our FA charter status also requires us to have an FA level one coach for every team. We currently have around 35 FA level one coaches seven at FA Level 2, four with Youth Module 1, and six with Module 2, and three Level 1 goalkeeper coaches. In conjunction with the Barks and Bucks FA, we have been involved with football mentoring, and now have four qualified mentors at the club to support our coaching community. Next season, we will send new coaches on FA Level courses, and this will rise to about 40 at FA Level 1. What is the FA Charter then? I'm glad you asked that. The club have just been awarded the FA Charter Standard Community Status. This is the highest of three awards that the FA award to grassroots football clubs. What does that actually mean? The Community Club Award is the ultimate FA Charter Standard goal. It demonstrates that a club has a high quality multi-team setup with a clear development pathway and excellent social training and playing opportunities for all. Achieving community club status is one of the truest measures of success for the FA's football development strategy. There are now around 3,400 FA Charter Standard Clubs, of which only 350 are community clubs. Wokingham is proud to be one of only a handful of clubs in the Berkshire area to have been given this award by the FA. That sounds great, you should be very proud. Do you also use outside coaching support? Yes, we've been using 3T Soccer for coaching support. Johnny Rabin and his team of coaches work in football development at Fulham and Reading as well. They also run successful soccer courses in the school holidays. Johnny's been involved with Wokingham at various levels for many years, coaching football fun, allied and under 16s. I guess many players also train at home. Yes, in fact, some of them think they can be a real freestyler. How do you promote football within the local community? We're always looking for opportunities in the local community and try and maintain a good relationship with both Wokingham Borough Council and local schools. We also attend the Wokingham Winter Carnival where we have a stall to promote the club and also we have a float. So what about funding? That's a big question. Funding for grassroots football clubs like ours is always very difficult. We have to pay for new equipment, kit and winter training facilities, which are always very difficult to find. Luckily, we get most of our income from the player registrations. However, we're also very lucky to have a number of local sponsors who pay for new kit. We talked about the new under sevens players, but what opportunities are available to the older members of the club, like under 18s? Oh, there's plenty of opportunities for the older players. We have a senior section that runs teams both on Saturdays and Sundays in the local league. Do you have a local ground? Yes, Embrook Sports and Social Club in Lowther Road. 
Unfortunately, the facilities are not appropriate for our senior team to play in the Hellenic Premiership. However, the committee are working hard to provide funding for changes to the ground. Nevertheless, youth teams play there and also many of the girls teams. And how's the senior team doing? Oh yes, very successful. They won the Hellenic Division 1 East League this year and will be promoted to the Hellenic Premier and kept the Reading Senior Cup for the third year running by beating Binfield at the Medeski Stadium. So, running a club of this size must take a lot of work. Yes, but we're lucky to have such great people working at the club. From the committee, down to the managers and the coaches. If it wasn't for their hard work and commitment, the club wouldn't be as successful as we are today. Thanks for your time, Steve. We wish Woking and Menembra great success in the future, and it seems you have a great club. Thanks very much. Yes, I believe we do. We hope you like the new music and we hope too you like the new programme.